welcome to infomercial in this video we will be having a discussion on reading comprehension and we will also be touching upon types of reading and techniques of reading and how to read critically how to do critical reading let's begin before we start this lecture i want you to know what is reading comprehension reading comprehension hota kya hai reading comprehension contains a piece of text कुछ लिखा हुआ होता है अ पैराग्राफ इज गिवन टू यू मे बी टू पैराग्राफ्स और मे बी अ पेपर इज गिवन टू यू विच यू नीड टू रीड जो कि आपको रीड करना होता है विच यू नीड टू रीड वाई क्यों रीड करें हम वाई शुड बी रीड इट टू अंडरस्टैंड यस दैट इज एक्चुअली द मेन पर्पज ऑफ रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन दैट वी हैव बीन ऑल डूइंग सेंस आवर यू नो थर्ड क्लास और मे बी फोर्थ ग्रेड वी ऑल हैव बीन डूइंग दिस रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन to understand the text whatever is written in that paragraph or paragraphs okay so that is good now let me tell you your major part of the brain which is called as a cerebrum cerebrum enables your speech your judgment thinking skills and reasoning skills problem solving and emotions and learning all these kind of things that you use in your study while you are studying that your cerebrum is working actually okay so that was just a piece of information by the way types of reading pe aa jate hain now let's come to types of reading there are two types of readings extensive reading and intensive reading extensive reading kya hota hai extensive reading involves the reading text just for the enjoyment e for extensive and e for enjoyment just to you know give you the hint of to to just to remember it e for extensive and e for enjoyment you are reading anything for the time passing that's called the extensive reading wo aapki extensive reading hoti hai for example you are reading a stories or maybe you are reading articles or newspapers just to time pass that is actually called as extensive reading now what about intensive reading intense you know intense means depth gehrai mein deep you are reading something with purpose you are reading something with learning aims because you have exam aapke exams hain aapke test hai that is why you are reading something you are reading a novel or maybe uh, a story or maybe your book any subject book or any topic to clear your exams because this is something which is going to come in your exams that's called intensive reading so in a nutshell extensive reading you do at home and intensive reading you do at your college university or school that is actually called i hope it is cleared now let's move examples extensive reading ke examples hain maybe you are reading a magazine a magazine to just to time pass or a magazine you are reading to know what is happening in media in number 2 and number 2 the novel which you can see in the in the center of this screen harper lee novel by the way this is a very good novel you should read it i must suggest you that you should uh, and uh, you're reading a novel just to increase your vocabulary or to time pass an extensive reading always increases your vocabulary always remember extensive reading increases your vocabulary and number 3 newspaper and if you are reading a newspaper in pakistan by the way you are just increasing your hypertension nothing else so please don't read it so newspaper is also actually called as the extensive reading just to time pass now intensive reading examples are here you are reading your textbook you are reading your english book you are reading any journal or article why are you reading it with purpose you are you have aims and you have so many goals you have objectives to clear that is why you are reading it so it means it is called as intensive reading now techniques of reading this is a very interesting part you must listen it very carefully okay skimming there are two techniques of reading number one is skimming and number two is scanning aapne ye youtube pe dekha hai ye jo aap right side pe aap dekh rahe hain skip ad you must have seen uh, and you must have clicked it uh it means like you know sometimes there is a competition how, uh, like how uh, like how uh, soon 5 seconds ends skip i will just skip the ad that is actually the competition is going on with yourself actually sometimes so skimming skips in english skimming is derived from the word skip so skip ad 
watching it you don't want to it you don't want to watch it you have just got a what about this maybe what about this maybe that's the advertisement about the shampoo uh, maybe that's uh, advertisement about investment maybe that's advertisement about food or food or you know services and all that so skimming means skip the text chhod chhod ke padna you are reading it by this technique you are reading a text by this technique it means you want to get the general idea aapko sirf general idea lena hai gist of a text rapid eye movement in other words rapid eye movement means quickly you need to just read that text just to have a general idea what is you know talked about in this text something like that a topic maybe a gen a title maybe kind of like that and scanning hmm scanning is something you know scanner have you scanned something in your life the paper or your mark sheet or your certificate how detailed that picture is you know kitne har ek cheez wo scan le leta hai it scans everything the figure which is written over there the letter which is written over there and the design which is made over there everything it scans so that is actually the scanning technique whenever you are reading something by the scanning techniques it means you you are locating every exact information har cheez ko aap dekh rahe hain and scanning technique you mostly follow whenever you are reading intensively your textbook or your topic right and skimming technique you follow whenever you are reading a story sometimes you are skipping a paragraph or maybe you are just re- reading a first line or maybe you are just reading a last line of each paragraph so the technique you are skimming technique you are following right and scanning scanning means oh no 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 you cannot skip anything scanning means aapne har ek cheez ko detailed lena hai the figure which is written over there or anything which is written over there you need to scan that okay i hope that was clear now moving towards next reading comprehension now let's have a demo of doing reading comprehension by following all those techniques and types of all these kind of things which we whatever we have discussed mike mike got a summer job painting white strips in middle of the motorway okay on first day he did a very good job and painted a strip a mile long hmm that's good however on the second day he only managed to paint half a mile and on the third day he painted less finally his manager told him mike you are slacking off no uh, slacking off high five vocabulary mujhe to iska matlab nahi pata i don't know this meaning i don't have the dictionary also i'm i'm doing my paper how can i have my dictionary also right so is word ko chhod do just leave this word the word which you don't understand in reading comprehension do not please wait on that word do not wait on that word please aage badh jaye move ahead and you will eventually know the meaning of that word after reading one or two line more okay aapko uska matlab automatically pata chal jayega ek do line aur padhe aap each day you paint less and less mike you are slacking off each day you paint less and less mike replied you are right sir but each day it takes longer and longer to walk back to that bucket oh mike is really in trouble and he has a very tough job i would i would say ek martaba reading comprehension padh ke nahi samajh mein aaya koi baat nahi read it again if you don't understand reading comprehension once you are reading it no problem read it a second time and eventually you will learn and you will have the complete idea well i uh, you know used the technique of scanning okay i did not use the technique of skimming now you have got this point okay good have a quiz where was mike working mike kahan kaam kar raha tha on a motorcycle track on a pitch on an important road on a pavement but humne to padha tha he was working on uh, you know motorway right लेकिन यहां पर तो मोटरवे दिया ही नहीं ऑप्शन सच ऑफ मोटरवे और यस 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 वी हैव एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोड मोटरवे इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोड ही वाज नॉट वर्किंग ऑन मोटरसाइकिल ट्रैक ही वाज नॉट वर्किंग ऑन पेवमेंट एंड ही वाज नॉट आल्सो नॉट वर्किंग ऑन क्रिकेट पिच सो ही वाज वर्किंग ऑन एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोड दैट इज एक्चुअली द करेक्ट आंसर सेकेंड स्लेक ऑफ मीन्स ओ यहां पर भी आ गया स्लेक ऑफ मीन्स 
it means that uh, anyways i'm not going to tell you just read the you know uh, options to feel enthusiastic no he was not feeling enthusiastic if he was feeling enthusiastic then this would be used by the author right in the text he was not feeling enthusiastic not at all to to stop putting effort mm, that seems a little bit correct let's read c to cheat no he was not cheating to forget something no no he was not also forgetting so it means that ke maine text mein se hi iska matlab dhoond liya slacking off means to stop putting efforts he was actually stop putting efforts something you know somewhere because he was not doing more efforts on that thing he he had to go a long way back to take that bucket wo jo rang ki balti hoti hai usko lene ke liye usko dobara se piche jana padta tha and that was a very tough job for him so it means he was not he was having a less efforts i cannot say that he he stopped putting efforts but he was having a little bit you know uh, less efforts into that then mike's boss told this means this means that माइक के बॉस ने जो उसको बोला था कि लाइक यू यू हैव स्टॉप्ड पुटिंग योर एफर्ट्स एंड यू आर वर्किंग लेस सो यहां पे हमारी क्रिटिकल रीडिंग यूज होगी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज आवर क्रिटिकल रीडिंग सो डिड ही प्रेज हिम डिड ही फायर हिम डिड ही स्कॉल्ड हिम और डिड ही डिसअपॉइंट हिम प्रेज तो नहीं किया था ही डिड नॉट अप्रिशिएट हिम ऑन दिस वर्ल्ड हाउ कुड ही अप्रिशिएट ऑफ कोर्स he did not fire him no no there was no no such thing written over in that paragraph did he scold him no yeah 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 and did he disappoint him how can a boss disappoint you <laughs> how can a boss disappoint you no so he scolded him so the right answer is he scolded him so my dear students i hope that this video taught you about the types of reading and how to do reading comprehension by techniques and how to do critical reading right so we will be coming up with another reading comprehension uh, video uh, inshallah very soon so we have done it if you have still any confusion or query write it in the comment section i will definitely help you in your uh, query so thank you so much for watching information please subscribe